Hey, how's it going, everybody? I've had this game on Nintendo Switch for a very, very long time. Well over a year. It's called Goblin Sword. I can't remember what it's all about, so I'm just going to go into it blindly. See how far I can really get. Um, let's try two that... Um, okay. We have a jump button. Y ace attack. So hey, let, let's see about language here. All right, English. Wait, how many? Okay, English, a Dutch, French. Um, I I don't know the other two. One of them's Japanese. I know that, but I don't know the other. And of course, Spanish. So, I do apologize. I don't know the uh, other ones. Well, I guess time to try this. Oh, um. I guess home? Oh! This is a secret item. Explore the levels to find it. Okay. Oh. Looks like L and R is to just... just swipe through the tabs. Ninja suit. What is this? Hard steel armor crafted by giants. Outfit made from the skin of a wild beast. Um, okay. Is there anywhere else I can go? No. Is there a menu? What? No? Oh, X is to go back. Um, okay. Welcome to our village. I think a month thought, I think I saw a monster near the bridge. Gosh, if I could read properly. Press B to jump, press and hold to jump higher. Oh, it's one of those. Control jumping. Click gems and other power-ups to help you on your way. Press Y to use a sword. Try to avoid contact with enemies. So, Y and A are attack. X is non-existent right now. Pause. Oh, okay, there it is. Restart. World. Huh. Oh, it's throwing a sword, can like on Legend of Zelda. Okay. Press B while midair to perform a double jump. Oh, I have. <coughs> Excuse me. This wall looks strange. I wonder if there's something there. Wait a second. There's no. Doesn't seem like there's no indicator to show that it was a secret passage. Okay. I can't remember how much I even bought this for. Maybe it was like five bucks? Oh, spikes. Crystal found. Oh, it's a rat. Hmm. I 
Can I press down? Hmm. Go to the right to exit the level. Good luck on your quest. Okay. All right, next level. Collect magic orbs to activate your weapon's special attack. Some monsters can be defeated more easily if you sneak behind them. I can't press down and jump to go through. Well, it's... I'm not bashing this game no way, shape, or form. I'm just saying it's, it's very generic. Very base. Games like this can be easy, but also challenging. Um, uh-oh. Something like that. I mean, it's something pretty good. Something to, you know, I guess to play. Oh. By the way, my new headset should be arriving on Tuesday. Oh. So that way my sound quality will go back to how it was. Instead of being like on a... On a speakerphone of some sort. Because the Logitech... I'm using the Logitech G935, which is a wireless... Ooh! Which is a wireless uh, headset. And it's not bad. However... I had a wireless headset before from Logitech, and it had phenomenal sound quality. This is like a watered-down quality of it. Maybe I just have three for the starting up uh, point. I don't need to go back down there. Do I have a crouch? Do I have a... No, it's just pretty much uh, left or right. Crystals, so maybe there's another area. No, I guess I'll try this again. Try to get all three crystals, I suppose. How fast can I swing that? Oh, that's pretty much as fast, huh?
Hmm. No downward thrusts or anything, huh? So obviously that's a pit. There's a second crystal. Heading around here somewhere, I get I mean obviously. Oh, yep, right there. There. I don't think this is oh this place is full of monsters, so I'm getting out of here. I don't think this is roguelike at all. I think it's just just there. Oh. Yeah, it's generic, but you know it's kind of fun. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not bashing it in no way, shape, or form. Ow! Every time when I say that, the game strikes at me. Must be aware. Can I drown? I don't see any, uh... Oxygen meter. Again, almost feels like there's something else over here that I might be missing. I'm not sure. Yeah. Now, see, here's the thing. I love the background sprites, but the foreground sprites, you know, the platforming and everything right here feels more cartoonish than the background but that's just me but also too it doesn't quite blend in too well with the background seems like some things need to be re reworked but that's just tiny stuff
kind of figured that there was something up there. I wonder what dying does. Seems like I didn't quite lose nothing, I guess. Oops. Oh. Also notice too when you get into the water it does kind of bog you down. What was that about? <laughs> Try to swing in my sword and nothing. I just hit something solid right there. Oh whoops. Oh okay. Oh it's a ghost. say collect four life potions to increase your hearts by one huh okay oh okay oh I'm at two out of three that's not good can't jump back down that's uh well I'll do next level So what was that animation all about? Oh, his uh, shoulder piece doesn't even move. Huh. Ow. Oh. Gems, no nothing found yet. Oh, there's a heart piece. There's another one. I wonder if I have to buy items in order to uh, come back and progress and find everything. There's another 
crystal. Yeah, you really can't see it. You have to walk into the wall and hope for the best. Hmm. Well... Go to world map. Um. Oh, okay. Oh. Let me go back to world map here. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I can start wherever. Okay, that's good. That's really good. Uh, I guess go to home. Elegant lamp with a green glass base. Let's see. Quests. Acquire all weapons and complete. Huh. Well, um... Okay, I have 771 gold. Okay, this... Okay, I got that equipped. 200, 500. So, it seems like I could go back and farm areas. I just kind of skip around for the best weapons. 1,200 for that. Gems. Two hundred. Looks like I'm just kind of buying, uh, sharp rate of for hearts allows you to see enemy health. That's interesting. Boosts attack power, but reduces defense. Yeah, invincibility duration one hit is increased. Cloak that enables faster movement. That might be beneficiary. Get over past pits and everything. Increases drop rate for magic orbs. Increases drop rate for gems. You know, I guess I'll buy a suit of armor made in the dark world. Dark armor, titan mail... Oh, okay. So he literally... I didn't... I'm supposed to press X. So, let's see here. Um... Oh, there's more. Defeat the third boss. Fifth or sixth. Oh, there's, there's more. Tenth... I can barely see the arrows down right there on the bottom left and right. As I don't know if you can see them on where I have the cursor at, you know, on the chest. It's There's a bottom left one right there in the window. Yeah, they don't stand out too well. And souvenirs. I thought that was it, but no, it just keeps... So, is there more at the merchant? Yeah, look at that. There is. I didn't, I didn't even see it. So yeah, we're actually getting yeah, speed. Dragon Slayer. So that's one thing that should be fixed. Make those, you know, bigger. Well, I guess I'll... Oh, Bombardiers. Oh, 
Um, that lizard has a lot of animation for him. That is quite interesting. Oh, put him in the clock. Okay. Music isn't too bad. Ow. Ow. Yeah, a lot of this isn't too bad. The only complaint I have is just the arrows down at the of the window screen. That's pretty much about it, really. Yeah, the arrows don't... Did I just say arrows down to arrows? Oh, Jesus. Arrows at the menu screen. Jesus. So I found one treasure. I have one more to go. a crystal. They sure have a lot of wells around here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Was too slow. Well, I got everything, just barely. I'll do this. Uh... Uh oh, I did not mean to do that. Oh, I need a key. Oh, okay, neat. You didn't steal my money, did you now? No. No, nothing there. So far, so good. Hmm. Oh, wait a second, wait a second. That's the end right there. 
So... How do I get up there? Oh, yep. Alright. Oh, a little bit of... Platforming. Okay. The controls are kind of... Touchy. can't uh... well what am I doing I got all three st I got everything I'm an idiot just just go world map see what it looks like oh the boss um why not word that's a kind of a Terrible loop for the boss music. Hmm. Oh, I can actually go on more. Or I can go to the ancient castle. Well, that's interesting. Well, I'm going to end it there. Uh, Goblin Sword... It's interesting. Will it automatically save, though? Yeah, it automatically saves. So, Goblin Sword. Um, it seems interesting. Um, definitely needs a little bit more work, I guess. But I guess, you know, this is just one of those uh, cheap indie games. It, it isn't bad. It just needs some adjustments, I suppose. So, I mean, if you want to try it, I mean, go for it. But uh, it just, uh, you know, I'm not insulting it in no way, shape, or form when I say this. It just seems very generic uh, type of uh, platformer. It's like a platformer or a treasure gathering game. It's like the older games, you know, back on the internet. You know, back in the 2010s, early 2010s. So, alrighty. Please like, subscribe, turn on the bell notification button. I'm at 500 and 88 subscribers. Thank you very much for that. I'm going to uh, play more indie games and ROM hacks and some other stuff here and there. Uh, might get onto a retro kick maybe sometime in mid December. We'll have to see how things go. So, alrighty. You'll have a good one now. Take care and stay safe. See you later. And thanks again for the lovely support you've shown me all this time.